Good evening everybody and welcome to a bit of a random one. Um, I'm currently on the way to see my foster family. It's just gone five o'clock in the evening and uh, as you can see it's getting dark already and I just thought I'd do a little bit of a vlogging segment. So I hope everybody's doing good and uh, yeah I hope you've all been keeping yourselves occupied and I just thought I'd kind of pop on and just sort of say that I'm gonna vlog what I can and hope you know you guys enjoy <laughs> thing I forgot to mention and I'm not sure if I've actually made it a public thing on my YouTube channel but as some of you will know we had Millie join us um, probably ooh, probably towards the end of last year now if not maybe the middle of last year can't really remember but we now have Florence as well who came to us as a puppy and obviously she's grown up a bit now so I'm gonna try and either include some footage, although it is getting dark and they are both black dogs so it's going to be very difficult to get some footage but if I can't get any footage I will make sure there's some photos at the end of this vlog just so that you can see them both um, but they are both Cocker Spaniels Millie is approximately three now and Florence is probably, I want to say like nine months but I could be completely wrong there she's definitely not one yet um, but I think she's about nine months old if not a little bit more so yeah it's been really nice having them join the family obviously i don't see them every day because i live in my own flat but it is nice when i do get to see them so that's where i'm off to now and like i say i don't think i'm going to get them on camera because it's a bit dark now but uh i will definitely make sure that at the end of this vlog you can see some photos and if i've got any video footage from previous walks i will make sure to include it so sorry if i sound out of breath i'm just kind of rushing myself to get to where I've got to meet them um, but yeah I just thought it'd be a good idea to kind of update you let you guys know what's going on behind the scenes and um, I suppose the other news bear with me the cars coming past the other news is that tomorrow I have a job interview for a different job to the one I'm in at the moment because I may have made the wrong decision and I will make a video about it obviously once it changes but I made the slightly wrong decision regarding the job um, it's not something that I can kind of get into but I've given it my best shot and the one thing I always tell myself is if you don't try you'll never you'll never know and I gave it a go it's not the thing for me but I'm still doing it until I can find something else so I hope there's not too much traffic noise for this but um, I think for me to try it and realise it's not for me, it's, you know, definitely been a kind of eye-opener. But I can still say that I've tried as well. So, there we go. Hopefully you've enjoyed this part of the video. I'll see you all very soon. Hello there everybody, I've been doing a bit of cleaning and I've found a really really innovative way of getting through my kitchen when I've just mopped it um, without getting wet socks. So I've literally used two tea towels to just kind of shuffle myself through the kitchen. It's drying the floor as I'm walking along, I've obviously got to make sure my feet stay on, but I just thought it was a really handy little thing. So my entire kitchen has been cleaned, the only thing I do have left is a couple of things on the side but... The entire kitchen's cleaned, the washing machine's just finished, so I've got that to hang. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a really clever way of keeping the floor, you know, from making my socks really soaked. And obviously, you can see there's a basket of washing there. I will give you a quick tour, actually. I have just decluttered the entirety of my living room. You do not get to see a before picture, because I didn't take one. Uh, I know the sofa looks like a bit of a mess, but that's my last little job. But a minute ago, you couldn't see any carpet, so I'm really, really happy. I've managed to get rid of, I think it was a bin bag and a bag full of like recycling. And I have two charity bags down there, which I'm going to try and take down, take down during the week, um, just of stuff that I can get rid of. And yeah, I basically did a bit of decluttering, made my coffee table look really nice. The hoover's out because I have to hoover still. 
Um, but I just thought it looks really, really tidy, really, really neat. Um, so that's the living room. And then the office, which I tidied during the week, excuse the washing. Um, it won't look much different because I've had to put the air back in here. But basically the office was a mess. You couldn't really see the floor. Um, there's the giant coin bottle that I emptied the other day. Um, and that's now got my penny challenge in, the continuing amounts of my penny challenge. Because I didn't want to leave all of the coins in there. I just thought I'd get rid of some of them and then... So they're in the bank, ready to go. Um, but yeah, so the office is fairly tidy. The only room I've still got to finish is my bed. Because right now I cannot go to bed tonight. But there's only a few bits on there. So very happy, happily decluttered. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know if I do any more decluttering. Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to a bit of a snippet. This is going to be added to some vlog footage. Because it's basically a miniature haul of a few things I picked up today and a couple of very late Christmas presents that I also received today. So the first one is actually a gift for myself. Um, I bought myself some Thatcher's Haze, which I'm going to try tonight. I tried this with my dad in the pub um, a couple of weeks back, and I think he put a bit of lemonade with it. So I have also got some lemonade as a backup plan in case I decide to have it the same way I had it before. Um, but I am going to try Somerset Cider Thatcher's Haze. Um, this was a pack of four, and it was four pounds from Asda if anybody wants to try it. And I'll let you know how I get on with it in probably a follow-up video. So um, I just thought I'd share that with you. So I've got some Thatcher's Haze today. And I also, I'm just putting it back in the trolley for a minute. I also got some Diet Lemonade. Very boring, but just thought I'd show you that as well. Um, regarding the late Christmas present, it was from my best friend Polly Ann, who you've probably seen in previous videos. Um, she got me some cookie cutters, which are going to come in really handy because I am doing some cookies towards Valentine's Day is the plan. So... Got some nice cookie cutters to use, but also not only that. If I un if I move the one that her mum gave me, just quickly, please balance on that. Um, she also got me some Royal Edinburgh shortbread. Now I'm not going to lie, I haven't had shortbread in a long time, so I am very much looking forward to using it. And the best part is you get a tin afterwards, so I can use the tin for whatever I want to. But I thought that was a really nice idea. Apologies that the sun is reflecting on me. I can't put the camera anywhere else. But yeah, so I've got some shortbread as well. And then from her mum, I haven't actually taken this out of the bubble wrap yet. So I might have to just do that and come back to you. I'm just going to take it out and then I'll come back. Okay, so the item from my best friend's mum is actually a cheese server. And it says, superbly designed and detailed. The stylish cheese board includes a set of three cheese knives. Each piece is handmade by skilled artisans with a removable circular chopping slash serving slate insert. So... I mean, there's cheese knives in there, which first of all, I've never had. So that's going to be a nice thing. And I've got a blooming cheese board. So if anybody ever wants cheese when they come round to mine, I actually have something I can put it on. So I think that's a really, really nice idea. And I would like to just add into this video a thank you to Polly Ann and Sue. I know you won't mind being named. So thank you very much for that. I will be enjoying all of those items to the best of my ability. I'm sure the shortbread won't take me long to eat at all. And then on to my haul items for the day. Um, don't really know where to start. Uh, it's a bit random, I'll be honest. I suppose we better start with the home bargain stuff. Um, basically, I picked up a pancake mix because I wasn't sure when pancake day is. And normally I would make my own pancakes. But because I have a feeling that pancake day is going to creep up on me, I've got a little pancake mix ready. So although I would normally make it myself... You just add milk to this, so when it comes to near pancake day, I'll get some milk. Um, but this, I think, was only like 99p, 89p maybe, maybe slightly less, not sure. Um, but again, home bargains, and it's a Jane Asher. They also did a chocolate chip version, but I decided to just go for the normal, because when I'm having pancakes, generally, I just put syrup or something on them. So just thought that would be a nice, simple one. Also from home bargains were two boxes of after eights i do not have to worry about when these are shown because these are actually a birthday present but they do strawberry and mint and mojito and mint which i thought would be really nice so two boxes of after eights for a birthday present which i thought was really nice as well the next items are buried in this bag apologies this is going to be a bit higgledy piggledy to show you um i'm only going to get the one out because i did get two in total um some very simple can't even see some very simple washing machine cleaner. I use this all the time. It's really good. Makes the washing machine really nice, but it is only one treatment per box. So I only use it once a month, generally speaking. 
until the washing machine basically smells. Um, but it's one ninety nine a box, so I've got two of those from Home Bargains. The next item is actually going to be from TK Maxx, and this was using two of my Christmas card, two of my Christmas vouchers. Um, I just thought I needed a new pair of these, and these were ideal. So I picked up some black trainers. Now, normally I wouldn't buy branded, but these were actually, I don't know if you can see these very well. Apologies. Um, these were actually Reebok and they're blue. They were £27 down from, I'm tempted to say 35 so I saved £8 already. But then I had a £10 gift token courtesy of my McDonald's leaving gift. And I had a £5 one that my sister and I swapped. Um, so I got £15 off them, so I only spent £12 on them. And I thought for £12 for a Reebok pair of trainers, it's a win-win. Technically, I've saved uh, £13 total. More than that. More than that, Hayley. Uh, what are we saying? 27 take away the 15. Well, I saved £15 on them, basically. Um, and in total, I've saved £20 on them, give or take. So, very happy with that. Oh, throwing them on the floor. So that was the trainer purchase. And then, from Primark, I picked up another pair of trainers because I didn't know if I'd find any today. So these I will keep anyway, but these are basically just a basic black pair of trainers. They've got some grip on the bottom. They're probably not going to last as long as the Reebok, but these are kind of going to be a backup pair or an everyday pair. And the Reebok ones I might wear, you know, every week, every other weekend or something. Um, but these were only £8 from Primark, size 7 because that's the size of my feet. And yeah, if you are interested in shoes, Primark do a decent range. There was quite a lot in Primark that I could have bought, but because I'm being kind of strict with myself at the moment... I didn't, I just bought a pair of shoes because I went with a list and I stuck to it. So that is the purchase from Primark done. And then, apologies, we are going to be moving around the room a bit today. In the bag here, is that just crisps and stuff? I think it is actually. I believe that's actually everything from the haul. Um, I picked up a few spices to go in my spice rack. But the very last thing I forgot to mention is I also treated myself to a brand new Gaming Pro headset because the one I've been using is playing up a little bit in that the cable doesn't always work, it sometimes just decides it doesn't want to do it. So I've forked out the extra £20, which is coming out of the PC fund, towards a new one. This one's basically all black with a bit of colour on the side, slightly different to the one I've got, but the one I've had for I don't know how long, uh, probably a good few years now, has lasted me a really quite a long time and I just felt like it's time to get a new one. I'll try and find the clip of me buying the other one, but I think with this one it's just going to do the exact same thing. You know, give it four or five years down the line and it'll probably need changing again. But, you know, I'm hoping that this one's going to last as long as the other one and I'll be swapping to that one later. So, again, a nice little purchase for me and a little treat for myself as well because I have been working quite hard with the new job and you know just a little treat so hope you've enjoyed this little bit of footage apologies it's been a bit bendy uppy downy but uh i will hopefully see you all very soon thanks for watching bye